If you've watched some of the other videos on academic reports, you will have heard about components already. Here's a quick recap. A layout template is made of a number of components. Components can be edited, moved or deleted. And components do a specific job within a template. For this video, we're in Academic Reports Setup, Layout, Report Templates. You work with components in the Design tab. We'll use this simple template to have a look at how components work and to make some simple edits. This is a template I created in a previous video. Click on Design. As you hover over the report, you'll notice that sections become highlighted. Each of these is a component. Icons become visible that allow us to modify the component. This is the school name component. Its job is to display the school name as configured in the global central settings area. This icon, often called a hamburger icon, allows me to move or reorder the position of the component within the template. This tells me the style assigned to the component. This tells me the name of the component. This allows me to delete the component from the template. This allows me to copy the component within the template. And this allows me to make edits to the component. Let's look at the edit option. We can't change any text here, but we can change what it looks like. We can see here that the style of the component is set to the default style. Here we can specify the position of the component. By the way, clicking on this dropdown effectively gives you a snapshot of all the components in the template. In the styling section, we can change what the school name will look like. Let's make it stand out more. Let's choose header 5 style instead of header 1. And now let's give it some padding. This adds white space around what's in the component. To make the school name stand out a bit more, let's add a padding value of, say, 30, just to make it obvious. Remember, this is not in millimetres, but in PDF units. You don't need to know what a PDF unit is, you just need to know that it's not a millimetre. Click Save. The changes are quite obvious. You can clearly see the added white space and the change in the style of the heading text. But perhaps heading 5 wasn't quite right. The padding is bigger, but the text is actually smaller. Hmm. You'll need to experiment with that for your local context. Now let's move the component with the hamburger icon. Click and hold the hamburger and drag the component down. Release it when it's in the right position. You can change it back using the same method. Now, this was a fairly simple component to work with. There's not much to change. But note that there are other components which are a little more complex. These pull in data that you need to specify elsewhere beyond something as simple as the school name. We'll look at those in separate videos.